Good morning my people, it's been a while that I'm not around but today is a special day so I decided to vlog it out for you because I didn't want you to miss it out so I'm gonna go to the UK Shooters Portraits event I'm gonna be probably shooting some POVs introducing you to some really 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 cool talented people in the industry and it's gonna be an incredible day I'm gonna be shooting film and digital so what a better place to bring you along so let me get there, literally morning walk, and I'll see you inside. These kind of things are sometimes best just to walk around and, and relax. <laughs> <laughs> always, always doing his job. After that minute of keen appreciation, I decided to go in and load my camera. I'm just gonna go talk you through the shoot and my thought process behind it. I was using a Nikon F5 with Portra 800. I just went, say hello to a few people and decided to continue my walk around and hunt down some models. There's Karim. I got a digital photo of him. The light wasn't that great for film in that area. So I decided to go and walk a little bit more towards natural light and capture some of the other models um you can see abby here i decided to make my way to the side and get some profile shots with that um, vintage looking uh, backdrop uh, these are taken also uh, with a canon uh, i decided to walk away a little bit and get that compressed background shot of her and walk down walk back and got to low angle looking kind of shot boom a little bit wider and i really 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 love her photos she's a really good model she's super talented just check her instagram she is really 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 nice so from there um i continue to make my way towards the window area this was like perfect situation to shoot some portrait um and the vibes were amazing juliet was like putting it like all out there and it was really cool you can check some of the images here, uh, window light, like super soft and nice. And yeah, just uh, enjoy those photos. If you want to see any of these, um, they're going to be on my Instagram as well. But yeah, I just uh, went low here and captured some portraits of Naik and then made my way to the table. Well, well, you can see that beautiful portrait. Then the legend Robbie asked me for a portrait of him. So I asked him to step to the side, closer to the window to get some nice soft light on his face, direct him to pose, then snap a couple of photos of him. I, I think they look absolutely beautiful. Um, I hope you like them, mate. And uh, yeah, they, they, it was an amazing time to hang out and catch up with him. By the time that happened, I ran out of Portra 800. So I decided to load up some Cine Steel 800T as the light and the neons and stuff on the inside was like a really cool buy for dad i did actually struggle a little bit to focus in low light with a nikon f5 i don't know why but well i continue taking some digital photos here um of daisy this one's worked out super nice the mood was like really really like on point in that area i really really dig the side window lights i think my thing is definitely more portraits with natural light than low light neon kind of stuff so i was making the most out of it while we could still be in that area then i'll drop you some photos here with cine steel 800t in natural light it actually looks really nice i was actually surprised of the tones and the mood of cine steel in light daylight After that, I decided to walk in and it was a bit darker, so I used the fridge as my light for the cine still film. Got um, a few portraits of Daisy and obviously 
she needs no introduction you can see it, like how good she is so I got a few film photos and then walk back inside I'll drop you some examples here um, Roby was directing her there I got some actually some film burns accidentally on the side which look absolutely dope for this photo as well I think I think they actually make up for the photo so well um, all right so here I was with my mate Mike he was doing his thing like he obviously organized that whole uh, section with the pins and stuff it was super nice and then I asked him to lend me his um, prism to get some prism portrait photography I think it actually adds up a lot of uh, interest and stuff and he's super talented so he was like teaching me around as well that's a good thing of the hangouts with um, other photographers that you learn new skills you polish your own and you actually get to network as well and meet some friends which was super amazing um, there we are I was trying some photos with the prism to like make some reflections and cover some areas that drive the eye towards my subject there we are those are the couple of photos i really really like them and yeah time to go out see ya back out of the uk shooters event like super nice it's really really cool to see the team again to see everybody that is involved amazing work guys if you see this video by any chance but yeah super cool um i think i got quite a cool photo so i mean don't expect too much but i think it will be fine uh, I have to go home, develop, I don't know when is development day, I guess in the next week or so, develop everything, scan it and send it over man. Uh, I'm gonna put a few examples while you see the shoot and I hope the 360 camera worked as well. So let's see, looking forward for the photos. Thank you so much for watching the video. This was like a reintroduction to the channel which is like amazing. It's good to be back, it feels good to be back. So like, subscribe, whatever, if you like it. So cheers, peace out.